morning friends, it's Angelina and Dima here from Walking Edge World and it's our final third day of Kapsir hiking. So for our last day we decided to hike to the village Belker. We'll do 15 kilometers, so normal day of hiking. We'll pass through some small lakes, Pladebara site and many forest areas. The elevation change will be 350 meters downhill, so we think it will be an easy going trail. We have done several parts here and there of this trail, you know, previously, we think like two years ago, so it was quite long ago, but some parts of it we haven't hiked at all, so we think it will be interesting for you and for us as well, and it may be a nice hiking trail idea. On the weather forecast we see that there is probability of rain starting from midday, so we better start early and we hope we'll be able to hike most of the distance until then, but we'll see that for now there is no rain, fortunately. So yeah, we're gonna wrap up everything and get on the trail. actually surprisingly slept very well this night. We think we found a very flat spot, that was the reason. Also we were camping close to the river, which was just very soothing and, you know, peaceful to, to hear. And it wasn't very cold, to our surprise, because in the evening uh, it felt like it, it would be colder, mm. right, than previous night. But it wasn't, you know, it was the same or maybe even, you know, less. So we slept quite well and we we're hearing the deer sound <laughs> from time to time. We we're just wondering when he's resting because, you know, we think he can do it all day, all night long. <laughs> but, but yeah, it was very interesting as well. up our food today because in such wet conditions we like have something warm. Our fly sheet is very wet today actually because there was some rain night. Not too big but still the drops are left on there as you can see and even here in the mesh there is some water from condensation. This one is condensation of course because temperature changes but it's still left outside so well nothing to measure trying to put off the tent without wetting the tent body like the mission is hard because there is so many water drops everything is so wet around sheet weighs like two times normal and we hate when it happens and well, it's just like drenching wet. going to be a quest today to find the right path because there is such foggy conditions. We don't know the whole trail as we said already. The final part we do know but this part no and yeah it can be quite confusing now just like directing ourselves but fortunately navigation works still works in this cloudy condition so yeah it will save us today. just incredible especially now when the ground is wet and it just smells so delicious you know how, how to describe it like the pine trees the pine needles pine cones probably the ground itself like it's it's all the combination of deliciousness in our opinion so we love it a lot
I think we actually seen the hare crossing the road. It was very quick and sudden, but we're very excited to see it here because we think that we have never spotted hare, like proper time here, and didn't get it on film anywhere. Just in Italy when we were doing Via Francigena. And then, yes, we've spotted it a couple of times, but here not even once. Only in winter, you know, we've seen the footsteps of it on the snow, actually but never a sight of it. But they're actually somewhere here and it would be so nice to see them. at Plade Barres, the middle point of our hike for today. The weather is getting a little warmer and the sun is getting out. Yeah, right, so we hope that the rest of our hike would be like that. Then it will be more enjoyable to hike. And well, now it's our lunch break. Gonna have our lunch now. following any particular trail rather than just following the right direction and you know our GPS choosing the most direct path the most straight one and we're following that but as always we just wanted to remind you if you want to get to download the GPS tracks we always post the detailed Google Maps that you can download it it's in the KML or KM Z format and yeah so you can download it to your GPS tracker or your mobile phone location and stuff and just follow our steps so visit our website walkingatchworld.com for that
Humboldt care now and it means that we had finished our trail for today. Today was the easiest day of the spree and this is basically great chill out trail if you don't feel like doing anything challenging. And saying several words about this three day hiking trip overall, we can say that we enjoyed it very much because there were no extreme parts, it was moderate difficulty most of the time but at the same time we walked through a lot of amazing viewpoints and attractions lots of beautiful mountain range views we met a lot of incredible lakes and just got to discover another area in the region which is really really beautiful we enjoyed a lot the wilderness of the area and that you have a big chance to meet some wildlife you know like deers hares even the mountain goats and stuff like that they're not just you know very easy to spot but they're around and this is nice also, we enjoyed that there weren't many people around us, probably because we were there out of season. It is October now. And of course, there are few people at this time of the year. So if you enjoy solitude and, you know, just the nature surroundings, maybe a very nice option for you. But bear in mind that, of course, you have to carry some, you know, winter equipment, uh, warmer sleeping bags, obviously, because um, there are plenty spots to camp. Uh, there are plenty of plateaus, you know, mountain uh, meadows and stuff like that. And also it is allowed, as we already said, the bivouac or night stay is allowed, which is also great. But um, if you are going to camp at the altitude, which you may probably know already, you will be cold, so basically. And with our summer sleeping bags, we were on the limit you know, of temperature range. So it was like plus five degrees Celsius and we didn't feel too comfortable. Of course, we were carrying many warm clothes instead, but we would advise you to carry some, you know, warm clothes and warm sleeping bags with you. So we can highly recommend this trail for everybody, for any level of fitness really. Everybody who enjoys the nature and its peacefulness and who likes to go off the beaten path a little bit, which is an, not popular tracks, but it is really beautiful, so we can't recommend it enough. Don't forget to check out our other videos from Pyrenees. We have the whole playlist dedicated to the hikes in this area. So if you want to learn more about it, go ahead and watch it. Also check out our trip reports on our website, walkingashaworld.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to click notification bell to stay notified about new videos. And stay tuned for more hiking videos to come. See you very soon, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!